advantage. He'll lead the field down the back straight away. Kavanaugh now goes low into turn one, and he loses some momentum there, and now it's going low. Tim Schaefer and Pico Avery to close. What was nearly a two-second lead is gone. Here's Avery to the inside of Schaefer for second. Rico Avery with a slide job, and Rico Avery will take second from the Steel City Outlaw. Schaefer back to his inside of one and two, and Schaefer returns the favor. Schaefer back to second. Now Avery turns it back underneath him. Avery back to second in the midpoint of the back straightaway. Chad Kimmelhoff still with the race lead. Now Jake Stewart up to challenge Schaefer for third. He'll go side by side. Chad Kimmelhoff opening it up just a bit now once more. Meanwhile, Greg Wilson up to challenge Tony Shaw for fifth. They'll go side by side, give it to Wilson at the exit of turn two. Greg Wilson drives by Tony Shaw for fifth. 12 laps in the books. Chad Kimmelhoff leading at Pico Avery in second. Jim Schaefer in third. Shane Stewart in fourth. Greg Wilson in fifth. Donnie Shaw's in sixth. Now Stewart to the inside of Schaefer. Big slide job there into three and four. Shane Stewart gets by Tim Schaefer and he brings Greg Wilson with him. Wilson now looking to the inside of Shane Stewart for the fourth spot. Battle for the lead. Now here's Avery to the inside of Kavanaugh. Slide job in turn four. New leader Rico Avery as they cross the stripe on lap number 14. Rico Avery has the race lead. Chad Kavanaugh running second. Now Shane Stewart up to the third spot and Stewart to the inside of Kavanaugh for second. Shane Stewart now second. Frank Wilson down low by Kavanaugh, by Stewart. Frank Wilson is second and coming after the race leader. Frank Wilson working very strongly on the bottom side of the speedway. Now Stewart back by Wilson and coming after him three wide for the lead and three and four. Three wide for the lead once again out of turn four. And Frank Wilson out of turn four takes the lead on lap number 16. Greg Wilson with the race lead now. Rico Avery running second. Shane Stewart in third. They are still three cars battling nose to tail down the back straightaway. Donnie Schaaf up to challenge Chad Kimmelhoff for the fourth spot. Greg Wilson has never won a World of Outlaws main event. He started in the ninth position here tonight, and he has the race lead, and he's pulling away from the field. Less than four laps to go for Greg Wilson, and his lead is now nearly five seconds up for Shane Stewart. to go for a first career World of Outlaws victory. Greg Wilson on the very bottom of the racetrack, left rear nearly, there's me left front tire nearly catching the inside car rail. He's got two laps to go. Turn three, and now to turn four, the white flag will wave one lap remaining. Low out of turn two and down the back stretch for the final time. What a way to get a career first World of Outlaws win. Ninth to the victory in a non-stop 30 lap win over for Greg Wilson. Shane Stewart finishes in the second spot. Ladies and gentlemen, getting his first career World of Outlaws victory and doing it from row five in a non-stop main event. Greg Wilson! Unofficially, your top 10 would look like this. Greg Wilson with the win, Shane Stewart second. Rico Abreu third, Donnie Schatz fourth, Dale Blaney fifth, Darren Pittman sixth, Jason Side seventh, Chad Kemenaw eighth, Jacob Allen ninth, and Brad Sweet in tenth. Again, that is unofficial. The top finishers headed to the I-Box Spring Scales. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in his career with the World of Outlaws, your winner, Greg Wilson. flag is out, we are underway at Eldora. The freight train moves into turns one and two, and Kurt Spaulding is your leader, followed by Scott Williams in the second spot, but here comes Aaron Orr to the inside for second. Down the back straight away they go, Spaulding in the top spot, Aaron Orr in second, Catfish Williams in the third spot, but not for long. Jeff Cos to the inside, Travis Stimler to the inside of him, three wide for third into turns one and two. 
through three and four. The green flag is up. We are underway. Kurt Spaulding, your leader, going into turns one and two. Starts out on the low side, slides upstairs to the high side. Coming up at turn number two, that opens the door for Travis Stimler. The blue deuce to the inside in turns three and four. Look out, here comes Stimler to the inside. Will he have enough to lead the lap? Yes, he does. New leader, Travis Stimler. Travis Stimler from the inside of row number five to the lead in three laps, folks. That's how quickly the Ionia, Michigan native is rolling through the Big E here at Eldora. McKenzie now to the outside of Williams. Move McKenzie up to the fourth position, but Williams battles back on the inside in the number one machine. Side by side off of turn number four, they come. Give the fourth position to Zeke McKenzie. Front straightaway and into one. Give it back to Aaron Orr. Now Zeke McKenzie. Oh, big time problems for Kurt Spaulding. Spaulding loses the right rear, goes across the racing surface. Yellow flag is out. Or they look for the green flag. There it is. We are underway. Travis Stemmler with a great jump. Three wide for second, third, and fourth. It is a great traffic jam as we work through turns one and two. Aaron Orr settles into the second spot. Don't look now. Zeke McKenzie battling for everything he's got. He's trying to fend off a hard charging number 116 of Jerry Bowersock. Zeke McKenzie and Jerry Bowersock continue to have the best battle out on the racetrack coming off of turn four for that third position. Bowersock using the right rear quarter panel of that 116 machine all to pieces as he rides the fence. Zeke McKenzie now settles into third and gets a right front to the left quarter panel of Aaron Orr. New driver in the second position. It is Zeke McKenzie in the 24M. And now Jerry Bowersock says, no, 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 Mr. McKenzie. I want that second position and goes after him down into turns one and two. But McKenzie opens up a three-car length advantage down the back straightaway. Aaron Orr back to fourth. Meanwhile, up at the front, it is still Travis Stemmler. The Blue Deuce riding around Eldora, making it look easy with a straightaway lead. White flag one more time around for Travis Stemmler. He's going to make his way down through turns three and four. The Blue Deuce goes to victory lane tonight. Travis Stimler, your feature winner in the Modifieds.